Today we're going to be working on getting Ninja Turtles running up on our arcade cabinet. In a previous video I put together this arcade 1-Up Street Fighter Turbo 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo arcade unit. And as I mentioned in that video, uh, the only reason I bought one of these is because it's very moddable. And originally I was going to do some hardware mods, but I found out that certain models, like this one here, you don't need to do hardware mods necessarily because it's basically just an Android tablet. There's a little Android PC on the back hooked up to this display. And there's a lot that I want to do. I want to get see if I get ADB running, maybe a remote shell, and get RetroArch on there. But right now, today, we're just going to load up more games. This came with 14 games, three of which are just different versions of Street Fighter 2. What we're going to do is install another APK that will give us a few more games. First thing I need to do is set up a keyboard and mouse, which I have, and I will also be installing an APK that I got offline that was pulled off another machine. This is future Chris. So, you're about to watch a video, and uh, there is an issue that I'm going to talk to you about at the end of the video, now that we've completed this install. It all depends on your arcade cabinet. So, I'll talk more about the controls and this interface at the end of the video. As I talked about in the last video, this unit on the back has both a micro USB port and a standard USB port. To the standard USB port, I hooked up an extension with a USB hub. That way, I don't have to open up the back of the unit to get to it. I also ran an a little extension cable to the micro USB, which I'm hoping to eventually get an ADB shell on. For right now, I have this simple little hub, which I've plugged a keyboard, mouse, and a USB flash drive into. Again, this device also has Wi-Fi, so hopefully I hope to set up a remote access to it so I don't have to do all this anytime I want to make changes. But for right now, we're going to do our initial setup. And again, we're in Android here, and to pull down the Android notification menus is your modifier key, also known on a keyboard like this is the window key and the letter N. When you do that, the menu will drop down and then you can use your mouse to go into different settings. Now I've plugged in the USB flash drive so it shows up here as an unsupported USB device because we've got to uh, format it with the Android device. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and we can format it so it's extra storage uh, as a tablet storage or as a portable storage. I want portable storage, that way I can unplug it and plug it back in and be able to transfer files from other devices. So I'm gonna click portable storage, I'm gonna say format USB drive. Now the way these systems work is that the main arcade interface is again a regular APK that is actually set as your home screen. So what's gonna happen is, I'm assuming I'm gonna install this other APK, and it's gonna show up as a different home screen. And when I press the key to go home, I'm hoping it's gonna give me the option to switch between the two. Now, there's also home screens, launchers that you can get. A popular one is called Nova. I haven't looked into it too much, uh, but that's one that people like that sets up that looks nice as an arcade background, but allows you to choose the different applications. But right now, I'm just gonna install that extra home screen launcher, and then hopefully be able to switch between them uh, with a keyboard for now. Also, yesterday I was playing around with Godot, and I figured out how to make a Godot game APK for Android and set it as a home screen so that I can hopefully set up my own game as a launcher on the arcade system. But that's a future video. Okay, it's done formatting. I'm going to click done. Again, I'm going to hit the Windows key and N on my keyboard to bring down this menu and I am going to safely eject my flash drive. Now again, this is my first time doing this. I'm going to get that Ninja Turtles APK. Now the Ninja Turtles APK shows up as an application called Ninja Turtles or TMNT, uh, but a lot of these arcade cabinet things that people had pulled from other arcade cabinets are actually still named 1UP because uh, these are arcade 1UP. So I'm thinking if you flash one of those or install one of those APKs, it may overwrite the one on here, although you can always do a reset. Uh, there is a program called App Cloner, which allows you to install different instances of the same app. Uh, and that's what you would use to switch between different home screens of the 1UP arcades. I hope that makes sense. That's not something I'm probably going to do. Uh, I'm going to try this Ninja Turtle one because it has a different name. I installed it on an uh, extra phone the other day and it worked fine. It has six different games in it. And then after that I'm going to install RetroArch. But just be aware that if you pull down an APK for a different uh, arcade 1UP cabinet and you install it, uh, that you might need to use that App Cloner application to be able to switch between different installs of your arcade interface. But right now I'm going to go online and I'm going to pull down uh, the APK for the Ninja Turtles cabinet. Okay, I've downloaded the APK. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I got it from archive.org. There's a user, uh, it's artcade420 is where I got this APK from. Okay, once again, the modifier key, your Windows key, and N to bring down this menu with a mouse, drag from the top, click this little gear icon for settings, and then we can go down to storage. And we see our flash drive here, we can click on that. And I put it in the downloads folder. 
So I should be able to just double click on this and it says unknown and I'll say continue, install and I'll say done. Now if I go back, so again I'm just going to hit Windows and N. I'm going to drag down, hit the system settings. I'm going to go to apps and notifications, go to see all apps, and I'm going to scroll down. You can see one up is the first one. That's what's installed on the device by default. Here at the bottom, my keyboard's kind of way, but it says TMNT Plus. I will click on that. Under advanced, there's an option for home app. It's set to no. If I click on that, I can choose one up or the TMNT and I'm gonna choose TMNT, confirm, and here we go, let it load, and I'm gonna say, uh, no, I don't want to set up Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna say, don't ask me again, and now we got Ninja Turtles, and I can go through different games in here. Again, this came with six games, and I can choose one, and it will start up, hopefully. Look at that, and I'm gonna hit Windows N, and my son is handing my mouse. Thank you, son. Welcome back. <laughs> Drag down, I can hit the system icon settings, go into apps, notifications, see all eight apps, and I can come up to this one up, advanced, I can go home, and I can choose the one up, and now it goes back to the Street Fighter one. Oh no, look out. So we have a little issue. Again, when I was recording this video, it was my first time doing it. We started playing and we have found, okay, so Ninja Turtles, four player game. Uh, this ends up being player one and this one pl is player three. That's okay, always gonna be Leonardo, always gonna be Donatello. The problem is we started playing and the joystick is not mapped properly. Up and down is left and right, and right and left is up and down. Not the end of the world. Again, this was just to see if I can get another interface going, but in the end, I plan on getting RetroArch installed, and there I can map out buttons and joystick. Depending on your cabinet, you may or may not be able to use this. Uh, if I figure out a way to remap the keys for this interface, that would be great. So... So... So, yeah. Right now, we got the game up and running, but the controls are flipped. Not a big deal. Again, I plan on installing RetroArch where we can remap keys. It would have been nice to have this simple interface, but again, different cabinets are done different ways. When I saw videos and other people doing this install, they actually had a Simpsons cabinet, so the controllers must be flipped differently in my Street Fighter cabinet. Uh, I don't know if I can go into the APK and change some settings, but again, once I install RetroArch, it's less of an issue because you can remap your keys in RetroArch however you would like, and I can get this game running in RetroArch. So, Thanks for watching, uh, and uh, let me know if you try this and how it works out for you, and I hope that you have a great day.